Hey guys, Gear Prep here. Uh, I got another video for y'all today. It's the uh, Nipex or Knipex 10-inch uh, plier wrench. Um, they look crazy. Um, these are very popular. Uh, highly rated on at least Amazon that I know of. I'm not saying by users or whatever, but they're kind of kooky, and I really like that. I think it's very different. Uh, it's supposed to replace the crescent wrench. The whole action of it um, seems pretty nifty, pretty different. Um, so these are made in Germany. It definitely proudly displays that, which is fine. I mean, they have good quality tools. The tool's a tool, right? It doesn't matter where it's from, as long as it's quality. But these are the 10-inch model or version. I uh, guess they have a seven and then I think a 12. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, it it has a lot of a lot of gripping power. And they work really well. They're they're great. Um, the the larger model right here will have a display of how what size you're using um, to kind of guide you when you're trying to when you're in a pinch and trying to use it. But this thing works great, man. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The pinch on it, this little guy right here, kind of you set it to the size you want, right? like this big and then the little snap in there with the teeth that you see in here and this little push button pushes back this little spring I guess it's not even a spring it's just like a little latch which I thought was kind of kooky um, but if I thought you think about it and this wears out you can just replace it keep going with a brand new one so that's pretty cool actually that means it'll last a long time and if it doesn't you just replace the bastard so how this bad boy works, um, when you grimp down, it's just like a wrench, uh, this little lever right here will kind of do the assisting and hold it there. So it's like tied on my hand right now. I uh, wish I had a bolt to show you, but I don't. So it has this little lever right here, it crimps it down and gets that tight grip. So when you're turning, you turn your bolt, all you got to do is release the lever that, and it comes off. You're able to grab another way release it come off so it's like fast action so they, how you all know what a crescent wrench you you know you scale it where you want and you put it on there and if it fits you torque it bring it off torque it bring it off and this one kind of brings it a little closer you just bring it where it's at torque it like that bring it where it's at uh semantics in a way i guess uh either way works i'm not saying this is better uh definitely am ready to try something different that's why i bought this the profile is very thin. I don't know if I can show you with the focus on my camera, but see how thin that is? That is, that is not a lot. Um, I know I reference this a lot. Old oh, trusty iPhone 6. Um, it's like the same width in the life proof case. So that's pretty cool. Um, it, it might be able to fit into some tighter spaces and stuff like that. I think it goes up to inch and a half, I read online. Um, which is more than I will need it for. Um, I usually don't mess with stuff like that that big. But uh, it has tons of leverage, tons of grip. The one cool thing was, uh, especially if you're working at homes and stuff, I don't work in the like residential sector, I, I guess you would say, but it it's flat right here. There's no teeth, there's no channel locks, how they, they just tear up a bolt and all that, and it just lays flat and it so it will mess it up, mess up the bolt, whatever you're trying to grip onto. Should keep it um, from messing up. It's got a really nice grip. They sell the uh, cushion grip and all that, but these bad boys are already pricey as it is. I kind of splurged when I got them. Um, but I've been wanting to try them and use them, and I love them so far. But uh, right now, as of uh, February 2017, they're 50 bucks on Amazon that's you know in stores there they could be more but I think I got these on sale for like 44 or something like that and Sears but uh yeah these uh work like a crescent wrench kind of have this weird little plier thing to it which I'm you know loving right now but they are sizable tools it's uh very it's pretty big 10 inch you know and it's kind of heavy but it's something different 
I want to see how it works, uh, the dynamic with all my other tools uh, work out, but I'm really loving the quality of these. Uh, I have have I have several Nipex tools and every single one I, I love. Um, they do great. They work great. They're built really, really well. All of the tools that come out of the package are very sharp. So I'm very impressed by this brand so far. Um, I seem to have more Nipex inclined than anything else in my bag. So any of y'all tool junkies looking to try something new or just have a, a weird looking tool you can show to friends. <laughs> I know some people do that, buy these things for that reason too. But uh, just, these are another thing on the radar. That's the uh, 10 inch plier wrench and that's my review on them. And it's made by Nipex. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, this gear prep uh, is my channel. Thanks for all the support and watching it. Um, please like and comment, subscribe, whichever you can do to help my channel grow. Uh, I'm looking to do more videos in the future. Um, and yeah, stick around. I might go dive into other things than just tools and stuff like that. But yeah, for now, um, this is what I got. So thanks for watching. All right.